Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Helton's Computer Repair here with a video for you. On this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can change the default new folder's name in Windows 10. So technically what this is, if you knew about this, you go to the desktop and if you right click, you have this option where it says create a new folder. And it creates a new folder called new folder for it. So that's pretty much what the obvious is. Now this also can apply also if you want to create like a new... Um, photo type or if you want to create a document and you see a text document zip folders if you have Microsoft Office installed You'll have the options to create a document or an Excel or PowerPoint those abilities too But the concept is that you're going to create the new Object that's going to be used for the program that you're going to create what we're going to be doing though is going to be changing this That will pretty much be a different name and you can probably just like a, to one of your friends and stuff like that to trick them as something cool so what I'm pretty much gonna do is pretend like we're gonna have a folder I want to create this folder it'll pretty much be called like hopes and dreams so when you create a new one and that's pretty much what the new folder will be so let's go ahead and get started Now, fair warning before we go any further, you do this at your own risk. What we're about to do is modify registry files inside Windows, and there is a chance that something could go wrong and possibly render your operating system. It's recommended to create a registry disk and back up any data that you can't live without. Helton's Computer Repair is not responsible for any damage that could occur. This video was created for educational purposes only, and registry changes that we're going to do comes with absolutely no warranty. And with all of that out, let's go ahead and jump over to the registry editor. So what you need to do is pretty much go to start. And when you get to there on the search bar, if you do see it, if not select it, or just type in, type in reg edit, and you should see this. Go ahead and select it. And you'll probably be prompted, go ahead and press yes. And this is what you're going to see. Nothing too much major, we're just simply in here in registry. Now technically you probably won't hurt nothing if you don't mess with it, which if you only follow the instructions, but anything could happen if you're just messing around with something that you don't know what you're doing. So what you need to do when we get to this, I'm gonna go ahead and expand this just to make a little bit more clear options for this. We're gonna to go to your current user that you're signed into. So this is your current user, select that folder. And then you're gonna to go to a folder called software, go ahead and expand that. And then you're going to see a folder called Microsoft. Expand that one. And you're going to scroll down until you see Windows. Go ahead and expand that. And then again, you'll see another folder called Current Versions. And I'm going to slide this over to make this a little bit easier. And probably I'll expand this a little wider over so you can see a little bit better. And see I'm underneath Current Versions. And next, we're going to scroll down until you see a folder named Explore. And there it is. I'm going to expand to this. And there's a list of folders. So what we're going to do is pretty much create a new key. So we're going to right click on the folder and select a new key and you see the key has been created I actually could have typed it right there but I actually want to show you where it's at I'm gonna go ahead and press rename again to show you this is what you would pretty much see and we're gonna name this called naming templates like this and there's no space it is literally spelt exactly like this folder as it is and that's pretty much the folder that we created and after it's been done there it is naming templates and from that point all we're going to do is right click on the desktop i'm going to see new and what we're going to do create here is create a string value now this string value is going to have a specific name it's going to be called rename name template and again there's no space at all it's literally spelled exactly like this and once the file has been created you'll pretty much I'll go ahead and expand this to show you rename name template so there it is what you're going to do is pretty much you can right click on it and you can press modify or you can just double tap it and it'll come to the same place as if you see that I'm doing both they come to the same place and what I'm gonna put right here is called typing in is called hopes and where's the and symbol there it is and hopes and dreams so there's pretty much the words that it comes up right here and it's pretty much already set and that should work from depending on what it's gonna say when I create the new file now there are some specific ones and I will go ahead and just take this off real quick and show you these specific files right here, not that one, not Camtasia. I was trying to copy this, but it seems it didn't work. There are a few symbols that are not allowed for this to work. Let's see if it'll let me copy it over there. These specific ones right here that you're seeing, backslash, forward slash, question mark, quotation, star, um, parenthesis. Um, I can't think of that. I think that's parentheses, I think. The little symbols, you, see, you, can, you understand these specific characters right here are not allowed, that will not work. So again, I'm gonna go ahead and just type it, hopes. And the ampersand and dreams, hopes and dreams. And I'm gonna make this look a little bit better. And pretty much here it is created. I'm gonna go ahead and press OK. And now the file has been created. 
So I'm going to go ahead and just exit the registry editor. I don't need this anymore. So now when I, depending here, I might need to restart the computer, but I don't really think it's necessary. Now if I create a new folder right here, it says hope and dreams. Actually, it was supposed to be hopes and dreams. So let me actually fix this real quick. So the name that I had was I just called hopes and dreams, not hope and dreams. Hopes and dreams. So when you pretty much come like this, there's the new folder when I created it. So I'm going to delete this again just to show you. So new folder, hopes and dreams. So the funny part about this I really like on this when you create this file is if I had like a essay document they had to do for a teacher or for classwork, I'm pretending this is a um, Word document. I'll type in the document and it says, oh, this one's not doing it right there. Usually it does, I know it does happen a lot on the registry underneath Word documents. So that should apply. Let's see if it happens on a different one. Create a new text. Okay, so text document is happening. Depending on which ones, it'll probably come out correctly, but you get the point right here. So hopes and dreams, and you just tricked your friends. And that's pretty much it. Now, if it comes to a point that you don't want that and you want to change it, you'll pretty much go to registry, open it up. And again, there's the locations. It's from current user software, Microsoft Windows, current version, Explorer, and again, the folders are created. Now, to get rid of this, it's pretty simple. You can pretty much delete the file, and that should fix the problem for it. Or the conclusion, you can probably delete both and delete the renaming templates out. So now it's pretty much back to normal. And when I right click on here and create a new folder, pretty much it's back to normal setup. And that's pretty much it. Oh, I was trying to delete it. There we go. Thank you for watching from Helton's Computer Repair. And I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching guys. If you just like this video, then hit that button. But if you like it and you want to see more, hit that like button. Get subscribed, comment, and tell us what other tech videos you want to see. Consider checking out our merch store, link in the video description. And for the rest, I will see you on the next video.